bad, but I think she is deep. <laughs> One reason that I accepted this invitation to come here is because it is a faith-based movement that is rejecting uh, the kind of uh, desacralization of the planet, of nature, of materiality. It's not only saying, well, we should do a better job taking care of the planet because if we don't, we're gonna go extinct. It's saying that the planet is sacred in and of its own right. Did we earn this planet or is it a gift? We were all rushing to get somewhere, the sort of hamster wheel and the panic that the way we in our organizations often often plan and try and work gets in the way of actually allowing new story solutions to arise. We have to put the well-being of the, of the planet at the center of our efforts and our, our energies. It's our current economic policies that are bringing about the destruction. A lot of teenagers also say that they find nature such a non-judgmental space. I think really resonate with that as well. And we talked about SAFSI having events in nature where we have just a welcoming space for all faiths. Our feeling was that we had in fact defined the new story uh, in terms of the sense of community. Your child is my child. I guess what I'm looking at is community emerging around uh, our growing realization of our care for the earth and our, our unity in seeking that. And the more involved we are in that, the more we need each other because each of us brings a unique set of gifts that are essential. Another way to articulate it is to even deny the separation between the creator and the created and say creation is an ongoing process and that, and that sacredness is not something bestowed from the outside but is inherent in matter. We kind of forgot that and exported sacredness into the sky. What we need to do is to understand that nature has, and everything outside of ourselves, have some of the properties of a self. And this is part of the new story that I'm talking about, uh, a new story that has ancient roots. Okay, let, let, let us go forward and creating these Use your senses to smell the earth. In the new story, we are no longer the conquerors of nature. Therefore, endless growth no longer fits that story. Endless growth means the conversion of the world into property. In the new story, we are perhaps the co-creative partners of nature. We're not separate selves in a universe of other. We are interrelated, interconnected, interdependent, and even interexistent. Who I am is more because of who you are. That spiritual principle in an Ubuntu society makes economic sense. What we need to do is to expand ourselves to include this planet. Because whether we acknowledge it or not, what is happening to this planet is happening to us. That's what the ecological crisis is showing us. I just want to kind of touch on the gratitude that I feel like every that's what keeps me going as I travel around you know everywhere I go I see people violating the first law of economics that human beings are motivated to maximize rational self-interest you know 
Like, you're a living reminder that a more beautiful world is possible.